Hey guys, how are you doing today? My name is Tina Encarnacion and I wanted to come on here today and just talk with you about taking control of your life and taking control of your time. It's so easy with life just running past us for us to lose track of our purpose or lose track of our goals or just lose track of time. And so I kind of wanted to give you an example today, for instance, I was planning on coming on here and talking to you about time. I had my whole day planned out. I was going to drop the kids off at school. I had one home sick, so I was able to call in sick to work. And I was like, I'm going to take full advantage of this sick day and I'm going to knock out some videos and I'm going to get things rolling for my business. So let me give you a little idea about my life and how crazy it gets. So I work full time for um, a, a company and I put in about 40 to 60 hours a week working for that company. I also am a holistic healer. So I also see clients at my home and help them with their healing um, goals. I'm also an essential oil advocate. So I travel all over the United States teaching people how to use essential oils and essential oil based products to help support their body and healing itself. I'm a wife of 10 going on 11 years and I have three children under the age of 10. So you can imagine with that load in life, it's very easy for me to lose track of time. It's very easy for me to make up excuses. It's really easy for me to put my goals on the back burner. But you see, I'm really important. I'm really important to myself. I'm really important to making an impact in this world. I'm really important to my family and I'm really important to the company that I work for. And so I can't allow time to run away. I can't allow myself to put my personal goals on the back burner because it would not be honoring myself. I can't allow myself to put my family on the back, back burner because it would be very disrespectful to my family and it wouldn't be honoring them. So I have to be extremely specific with how I spend every second of my time. You see, time is the only real currency you have. You have to choose how to spend your time. And once you've spent that minute or that second or that hour, it's gone. You will never get it back. So it's very, very important to purposefully spend your time, whether you trade it for dollars or whether you trade it for value, whether you trade it to honor yourself or your loved ones, you're always spending it somehow. And so you want to make sure to be very specific with the way that you spend time. So let me give you an idea of today. Today, again, uh, one of my children were sick. So I called in sick to work and I decided to take full advantage of this time. So when I woke up this morning and I realized I was gonna be calling in sick to work, immediately my, my mind went into overdrive and I was like, okay, I can drop the kids off to school. I can come home and I can get her settled in. I can do an essential oil protocol to help her body start fighting this virus. I can get her settled down and maybe get her to sleep. And then I can come into my, my studio and I can start recording videos and I could probably get her to sleep for about two hours. So I could probably knock out about six videos. And then by then my other children will be coming home. So then I've got to create, I've got to make lunch and I've got to take some time to spend time with them and find out how school went. And then around that time, I might be able to write a blog or two. And then after I'm done writing the blog or two, my husband will be home from work. So I need to take some time to spend time with him and focus on him for a little bit. And then it's gonna be time to put the kids to bed. Once I get the kids to bed, then I'll be able to spend some more quality time with my husband, or maybe he will have work to do himself and then I can write another blog or I can record another video. Um, so I, I have this whole day planned out. It didn't work out that way. My oldest that was homesick from school spiked a really high fever, so I had to call the hospital to schedule an appointment for her. My husband dropped the other kids off to school for me while I took her to the hospital. She ended up being diagnosed with strep and she was in severe pain. On the way home, she ended up throwing up all over the car and then I had to come home and clean her up and get her settled in and then I had to clean up the car and then I had to make her soup so that she could um, have the nutrition she needs to help her body fight the virus. And then as I was getting ready to come in here to film some videos for you, the school calls and my second daughter is now ill in the hospital or in, in the office and now I'm having to go pick her up. She's showing the same symptoms as my other daughter so I'm having to call and make a doctor's appointment for her. And then I, I realized, oh crap, I got her doctor's appointment is at the same time my son gets out of school. So now I've gotta go and pick my son up from school. 
So obviously the entire morning and afternoon was scrapped. Didn't get any of my goals done that I had prepared. Life happened. Life always happens. But I had my goals. I was dedicated to creating this video for you to realize that, yeah, life happens, but you still have to prioritize and you still have to make sure that your goals happen. And so I guess this, the, the, the story behind or the meaning behind my story is even when life happens, even when things don't go the way you plan, always make sure to come back to that priority, come back to that goal. Don't abandon it. Don't forget it. Just roll with it. And as soon as you get a second, fill that second in with achieving a step towards your goal, even if it's a baby step, even if it was me just writing what I wanted to speak about on the computer so that I can have a clear uh, frame of mind when I came to record this for you, I still made time, even with sick kids outside the room, I still made time to be able to come and talk to you about, oh my gosh, life happens. So how do we deal with it when life throws us a curveball like it threw me today? You stop and you breathe. So that's one thing that I had to do because I could have just been completely frazzled and been like, okay, it's not going the way I want. This is terrible. Forget it. I'm not going to do this video. You just breathe. You just count to 10, relax, bring your blood pressure down, bring that anxiety down, bring that stress level down, and then you prioritize. What can I do? How can I knock out my goal? How can I take a bite out of this sandwich in order to get that much closer to achieving what I had set out to do? And you take those steps. One thing that a lot of people do is they think about it and they get anxious and they work themselves up to where they just can't do it. Don't do that. Don't think about it. Just, just figure it out and go. I mean, it's really easy to talk yourself out of it. It's really easy to come up with excuses. You just have to bite the apple one bite at a time and make sure that you put yourself and your priorities first before anything else so that you can accomplish your goals and so that you can honor yourself. So even when life happens, roll with it, but always find the little times in between to be able to sneak in your goals and be able to achieve your dreams and be able to honor yourself. Always remember to breathe. And nothing is that serious. Everything is fixable. So please take a breath, figure it out, jump on the wagon and get going. You are completely capable of achieving everything you dream of.